Thank you, Jeff, for giving me the opportunity to speak here. I'm speaking as uh, three people today. Uh, myself as chairman of the Somerset Hospital Emergency Department. As uh, a partner in Emergency Medical Associates, where we staff uh, 16 hospitals throughout the state. And importantly, as the past president of New Jersey ASAP, American College of Emergency Physicians, where 700 plus of us are members. Um, and we deal with these uh, results every day. Uh, we'd like to applaud the prosecutor's office for this initiative, the Chiefs of Police, and the Somerset Medical Center uh, for developing this very thoughtful and timely texting campaign. You know, when you work in an emergency department, you kind of learn very quickly that you have to be prepared for everything. In over 20 years of practicing, some things you don't quite get prepared for, and among those is seeing some of the senseless tragedies that come in as a role of uh, result of motor vehicle accidents. As Ken mentioned, as you saw some of these videos, you know, in practice you see these cases uh, pretty much on a daily basis. You know, fortunately, most of the consequences are minor. Uh, however, there are other that are very deadly and have uh, significant consequences. Highway safety data has been mentioned has shown that nearly 80% of crashes are related to driver inattention within three minutes, uh, within three seconds of the accident. The same data shows that behavior such as texting increases the risk of a crash eightfold. And texting while driving causes devastation for several people. Uh, certainly the driver who's uh, texting and driving at the same time, but it affects others as we mentioned, the passenger in the car, other drivers on the road, and innocent bystanders. They all often suffer tragic and sometimes deadly consequences as uh, this is becoming a terrible trend. Before you text behind the wheel, I'd ask you to think about your children, think about your friends, and certainly think about your family members. I'd ask you to join me and the 700 other emergency physicians throughout the state to take a pledge today and help us put an end to this uh, very avoidable tragedy that we see in our departments throughout the state and throughout the country uh, on a daily basis. So again, thank you, and I do support this wholeheartedly. Thank you.